everybody, J-Dog here with another MMA blog talking about UFC 121, Lesnar Carwin. Uh, let's get straight to it. Brock Lesnar is a monster. And um, no matter what anybody in any camp says, speed it only takes you so far. Conditioning only takes you so far. Brock has probably 20 or 30 pounds on Kane, and that's probably going to be the story of the fight. Uh, Cain Velasquez is only a little bit bigger than Randy Couture when Couture fought Brock and it's it's a huge huge task to overcome um, for Kane to win against Brock he's gonna have to get the takedowns and we haven't really seen that against Brock uh, guys have tried for sure and even with Carwin on top of Brock you know Carwin, probably the hardest puncher in the heavyweight division, couldn't put Brock away. So it's a definitely an uphill struggle for Cain Velasquez. I think Brock is going to retain the heavyweight championship. Also in this card, we have uh, Jake Shields uh, up against Martin Katman. This is his first fight in the UFC since his contract expired from the other organization. Um, and I see Jake doing what he does best. Getting a takedown and ground and pound a decision out on uh, Catman or maybe a submission. More than likely just a decision win. Uh, we also have Diego Sanchez and Paulo Tiago. Uh, this is definitely a must-win fight for Diego. I'm a big fan of Diego Sanchez ever since the first season of Ultimate Fighter. Um, he's had two tough losses back-to-back. -to -back. The TKO against uh, BJ and the decision loss just recently. Um... Paulo Tiago is on the way up, um, and uh, you know, for Diego, it's it's going to be a really uphill fight. I think uh, Diego really has to work his ground game. He should go away a little bit from the stand up. Uh, what's taken him as far as he's gone is the ground pound, and I think he should go back to that. If he does, I think he can squeak out a victory over Paulo Tiago. And also the last big thing everybody's talking about is former light heavyweight champion Tito Ortiz taking on his uh, student from his season of Ultimate Fighter, Matt Hamill. Uh, I honestly see this as a straight up boxing fight. I think both guys respect each other's um, uh, uh, wrestling and takedown and I, I feel neither guy is going to really bother with it. And uh, I think Tito and Matt are just going to box it up. And neither guy's really known for unbelievable knockout power. So, uh, I'm going to have to give it to Tito just on experience and, uh, you know, all his time in the ring. Um, but this should be a great event, and I'm looking forward to it. This is J Dog. Leave a comment, subscribe, tell me what you think is going to happen. Pulse.